I heard someone say they were a little allergic to a certain food. There's really no such thing. It's either an allergy or a food intolerance, and there's a big difference. Consumer reporter Marilyn Moritz explains. You may like the pizza and peanut butter, but they may not like you. A large study found 19% of people believed they had a food allergy, but only 11% really did. Why the confusion? The difference is that food intolerance affects the digestive system, while allergies attack the immune system. People with intolerances can eat the food without serious consequences. But for someone with an allergy, touching, inhaling, or ingesting even a microscopic amount of the food can be deadly. First, to speak to an allergist and make sure it's not a food allergy. Again, food allergies can be severe and they could be fatal. If it's not a food allergy, then I think it's important to speak to your physician and possibly keep a log of your symptoms and a log of your diet. Intolerance can stem from a variety of reasons like irritable bowel syndrome, celiac disease, or sensitivity to food additives. Uncomfortable, but not fatal. You can also develop food allergies and intolerances after childhood. The most important thing I would say is to identify whether it is a food allergy or not, because if it is a food allergy, then you need to have certain precautions in place and carry certain medications with you in case you do have a food allergic reaction. And identifying an intolerance can help your quality of life. If you have someone in your family with a serious allergy, be careful in the kitchen. Using utensils tainted with an allergen can cause a serious reaction. Marilyn Moritz, KSAT 12 News.